Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to Lesson 9 of PHP Programming. And today we're going to build our little PHP calculator, a very simple calculator using the math operations that we discussed last time, plus, minus, division, multiplication, and modulo. But before we do that, let me talk about two important formats in PHP, and that's an integer number format and a floating point number format. And what's the difference? Well, integers are numbers like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, as you can see right here where floating points take more memory, where they're decimal numbers. And it's like, for example, 3.14159, the beginning of pi. And so there's decimals, there's more memory required. Now, PHP doesn't need any strict typing. It's very loose typed, and it knows automatically if you're dealing with an integer or if you're dealing with a floating point. So that makes our life pretty easy. Now let's go to Eclipse and finish our calculator. So we started this last time, and we had a plus, and we had a a minus. And let's go put some commenting in there so we can actually keep straight with our commenting. We'll just say this is plus or addition and we'll put a comment and we'll go subtraction. And you see everything is color coded so you actually get a different color coding. And now you're going to start to see why I'm using Eclipse because you're going to rock and roll here with some of these keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to highlight this and I'm just going to hit control alt and arrow down I just created a whole new line of code. And let's make this multiplication. And I'll just put a star in here. And we'll call this variable 3. And let's make this 3. And now let's do division. So control alt arrow down. Put a space in there. And we'll call this division. And I'll just put a slash for division. In this case, you're actually going to get a floating point. And we'll call this variable 4. And we'll output 4. And let's do the last one. Let's do a modulo. So Alt, Control, Page Down. We'll call this modulo. And what modulo does, it gives you the remainder. And let's do a modulo... Um, reverse your 4 of 3. So the remainder of 4 of 3 should be what? 1. And let's see if indeed that we get that. And I didn't like what I did. Let's see what's wrong. Oh, it did like what I did. It's just we need to change the variable to 5. And so now you can see using Eclipse and the Alt, Control, Arrow, Down trick, I'm actually able to create this code fairly rapidly without retyping over and over again. Let's save this. Let's make sure we have the right program selected. So run configurations. And we do have the calculator selected, so we're good. And let's hit Run. And let's make sure it's selected by clicking on it. And now let's run it as a web page. And there we have all our numbers. The first one is what? 3 plus 4 is 7. Uh, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 divided by 4 is a floating point number 0 0.75 and finally it says a modulo of 4 to 3 is 0 let's check that out and see what's going on with that that's the that doesn't seem quite right let's go back to our math calculator oh I said I did the wrong modulo I want basically 4 modulo of 3 okay so now let's try that out let's go back and save that and let's just run it and there you go 4 modulo of 3 or, or 4 divided by 3 gives a remainder of 1 so I got the right answer so we build a math calculator pretty rapidly just using some simple tricks in PHP. Today we covered the two formats, integers and floating point. And then we built a simple math calculator using the plus, minus, division, and multiplication, and modulo in PHP. We went ahead and we built our calculator using the control, alt, down, arrow trick to rapidly generate code. And then we ran our calculator method uh, in uh, Eclipse. So have fun calculating, and next time, we'll learn about math operations. This is Mike Lively. Thanks for listening.